Hey friends, welcome to this channel and welcome to this video. You're probably wondering what in the world am I doing and where am I? And the answer is I came here to Dallas, Texas with Priscilla for just a couple days. Priscilla is attending a leadership retreat for Lemongrass Spa, the company that she uh, is affiliated with that does uh, the natural all natural skin care and makeup and uh, she was asked to speak here so she came down and uh, is doing some training as well etc so I came down here with her so we're here for a few days we're at the Gaylord uh, Texan Resort and it's so beautiful here as you noticed um, and tomorrow we're going to go to uh, the Magnolia Gardens uh, or Magnolia Place with Chip and Joanna Gaines and we're gonna check that out um, and so it should be a fun day, but we're looking forward to going back home. Just a quick trip down here uh, for a few days, and then we're heading back home again. So thanks for tagging along. This first part of this video will be about where we're at here in Texas, and then the second part will be um, what the children did while we were gone. And uh, maybe we'll get a squeak in a few days while I'm still helping them. We'll see how, how that goes. But anyways, enjoy. Thank you so much for following us. God bless you, and enjoy the rest of this video. Well, I'm here with my good friend Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold since uh, many moons ago. Uh, Arnold and I worked together for a short time in Montana. And now uh, Arnold and Priscilla live in Pennsylvania. Yep. But uh, we're here. What's cool is both of our wives' names are Priscilla. So that's pretty cool. But check out this food. This is a highlight of our trip. We came here to, to do nothing but eat a steak. So check this out. This right here is a bone-in, 10-ounce filet mignon. And there's some lobster mac and cheese. And I only got the same thing. And you got some truffle fries. We got these delicious drink. I don't know what it is, but <clears throat> looking forward to digging in. I started YouTube with my husband, so it was a lot of lifestyle, family, videos and then I branched off to my, off on my own. So I think that's a big thing is when you have a following, you want to be very sincere and true, with, mm -hmm. you know, honest with them. Well, we're at the Magnolia Market here. We're at the famous silos where Chip and Joanna Gaines do their thing, I guess. So we're gonna hang out here for a couple hours, see what's up. The time has come for my favorite subject, second favorite subject. My first favorite subject is this person right here. One of my close seconds is this coffee right here. So we're gonna see if it's any good. I like to pop open the top right here and see what the inside looks like. Oh, yes, that looks good. I like, to, I like that foam right there. That looks really good. This is really neat. I, I like, I'm enjoying this, uh, this area here. This is like a very tastefully, well, well taste, uh, what's the word? Very tastefully done. Um, that's one thing I, I appreciate about them. I, I really enjoy, I like good taste. And uh, to me, this is, this is well pleasing to the eye. Well, well thought through. I like it a lot. Well, here we're at the stockyards in Fort Worth, and it's an interesting place. Lots of shops. I think it's huge, and I don't even know what all is here, but <clears throat> they got rodeos, of course, all kinds of touristy stuff. And there come our buses, so that means it's time to leave. But it was kind of nice being here. We found a bunch of things for the kiddos and that was kind of nice. Got them all a little bit something and uh, it's a beautiful day. So we're gonna head back, head back to the motel. And then uh, we'll spend the day tomorrow just kind of spending time together, Priscilla and I, and then we'll head for home. For Avalon, I think she's gonna love this. And Wyatt, we got a coon skin cap. He's gonna have fun parading around with this. And then, of course, for Chloe, we got this little purse with a little pony in it. Well, it is now Sunday and we're leaving tomorrow morning and we need to get a little bit of sun in. 
So we're gonna hang out here by the pool, Priscilla and I, for just a little bit, in the hot tub maybe, and the pool. They have an outdoor pool and an indoor pool. So we're picking the out outdoor pool today. But yeah, clear blue sky, such a beautiful place. Do you ever get to come to the Gaylord Texan? Ah, just perfect. Ooh, feels good. So check this out. We're here with Ed and Melody. There's some folks that met us at YouTube and we'll introduce you to them. But they're bringing us here to this great spot here. Hi, this man. is Ed Hi. and this is Melody. And uh, they live down here in Texas and they're, they're taking us out to eat. There comes Priscilla. It's a really cool spot. It's a Mexican and steak place. So we're looking forward to, to that. So thanks for taking us out, You're guys. Welcome. Absolutely. Good morning, here we are one last morning enjoying this bright sunshiny day, it's beautiful. We're having some breakfast, some crepes and some and an omelet and a first coffee. Uh, about an hour we gotta pack up and head for the airport, head home. Looking forward to getting home though. It was nice just to have a little getaway here and uh, hang out, but looking forward to heading home. Good morning. Hey, we're back in our bedroom. We're back home. We got home really late last night, a long flight, and I'm so excited to be home. So excited to be uh, getting back my nose to the grindstone, if it is a grindstone. I don't call it one, but um, anyways, you know what I mean. Get our house done. We are excited to now plug in, and I don't have any more trips planned for a while that I know of. Hopefully I don't. Uh, and we can get in our house. So, but I wanted to show you one more thing before we switch over the video and get started on the house. We picked up one thing in Magnolia Market, actually, yeah, one one thing that we bought there. And I just thought when I saw it, I thought it was so cool. And we're gonna frame it eventually and put it in our in our new home here. Uh, but I wanted to, to, I'm gonna show it to you and read it to you because I just think it is so cool and so unique. And it's just like really, I feel like is who I aspire to be as a person. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this and read it to you. So it's printed on this leather, uh, about an eighth or three sixteenth inch thick piece of leather, which I just think is so cool. Um, but here's what it says. It says, authenticity is rarely found in grand gestures, not in lightning strikes or fireworks in the sky. It is a deep root, a gentle stirring, an invitation to be the only you there was ever meant to be. It is the clearing away of all that is not true, peeling back the layers until you discover what was there in the beginning. It's allowing yourself to be truly known and loved as well as really knowing and loving someone else. It's the willingness to stand alone in doing what you believe is right, even when what's right isn't a popular choice. Authenticity can't be copied. It can't be false. It withstands shifting sands. It resists comparison. It defies seeing yourself as who you are less than or who you're not. It's acknowledging the difference between what is fake and what is real. Because when we are real, shabbiness won't matter. Lack will disappear. Falling short will lose its foothold. So your time is now to welcome in the light that is all your own, to dive deep into the glorious reality of who you are meant to be. Let's not tarry. Let's not hesitate in finding the one life we were born to claim. I just like that so much. I just think that uh, that kind of speaks about our family and our YouTube channel and you know, when we started this channel, one thing that we were really clear on that we wanted to do is we wanted to be authentic and not be swayed by opinions, but just show our family the way it is and our our um, the way we view life and, and our faith and um, po politics and not be politically correct and all those things. So if there are things that we do differently or uniquely uh, is because that's what we're going to do. And I agree, we all need to grow and keep growing, but um, our deep rooted values and the things that we believe in, we're gonna stick to those. So you're gonna see me hunting. Uh, we're hunters, we're gatherers. I think that's so important. That's who God made us to be, to take care of the of things, uh, this world and live our life that the way that we feel God showed us to. So thank you for watching and thank you for um, going with me on this little journey. Priscilla and I down to Texas and now it is time to get started on our house. I'm so excited for that. Let's go. 
Here we are, we're at the house, and I've gotta show you what the boys did while I was gone. It looks really, really, really good. I just love it, I'm so happy. But first, I gotta tell you something that I forgot <clears throat> to mention, and that is to all you ladies, and you guys, if you love your ladies. So the reason that we went to Texas is with the for the company that Priscilla is affiliated with called Lemongrass Spa, which is a healthy, all natural skincare and beauty um, company. So I'm gonna post the link below. So go in the description box. If you're interested in all natural, all healthy uh, skincare, go check that out. Check out the link and I think you'll love it. But anyways, I gotta show you now. Uh, we came here this morning and we needed more glue and we forgot that we, that we needed more glue. So I had to run get glue. While I was gone, the boys finished these triangles up here. So check this out. Well, good morning. Um, today I'm going to uh, varnish this beam right here that we stained the other day. And I'm working here by myself this day because my mom and dad went to Texas. So, um, so I'm going to stain this right here. Actually, varnish this brush. I'm just going to brush it on. It's going to be a little glossy and smoother when I'm done. I'm going to give it two coats. So I'm done giving it the first coat and it's not quite dry yet so I'm gonna go do something else for a little while and then I'm gonna come back and give it the second coat. So now that this coat is all dry, I'm gonna give it the last coat. I'm gonna put it on kind of thick. So now I'm going to stain this door because we had, we were one door short, accidentally we didn't get enough doors for the, this house so we got another one at Home Depot and now I'm going to stain the, the door jam but we don't have any staining pads or anything so I'm just going to use a paper towel but tomorrow we're going to get one so I'm going to wait to use a staining pad for that door tomorrow so right now I'm just going to stain this one. thing that I'm doing is I'm putting in all the porch lights in this in the front of the house so I'm almost done so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do these two and then I'm done
so I wanted to test to see if these um, lights out here would work, if every single one of them would work. So I went and hooked uh, a, a switch right there, the switch up and see if it works. So I'm gonna flip it, Let's see. Yes, they work, good. Wow, it looks nice. So, I'm here on the next thing. Um, we're, I'm gonna make a triangle out of barn board that we're gonna, like these triangles are for the trusses up here um, in the main living room and we're gonna cover them with barn board like we did one yesterday. So I'm just gonna start on this one today. Uh, I have to go pretty soon here. So I'm just gonna start, see how much I can get done. There is Meatloaf. He was bedded down pretty close to the house. Now he's feeding again. He's uh, one of the twins that were on our property. So now after lunch, we made this triangle right here. Everything, and now we gotta disassemble it. No shooting. Take off all the pieces, and we're gonna glue it. So Watt's gonna glue it.
we're doing that triangle, now we've cut both sides here. Now we just gotta glue it and nail it and put it up there. So now this morning, we are all here at the house. Michael's uh, brought us over in their truck and we are staining this door now. White is staining that part and Chloe's waiting for her turn to stain. And Avalon and Justin are working on the other triangle that I was working on yesterday and he's gluing it on now. So after this, we're gonna start on working on those triangles. snowing outside and Wyatt and I have come to work here today and first of all we stained this or varnished this door we gave it a coat of stain now we're gonna work on this triangle of barn board uh, we're gonna glue it and nail it and put it up there if we can then work on that one and try to finish that today and give the door two more coats of varnish. So let's get started. Here's the last piece. I had to recut it because it was a little too long <coughs> after we nailed all the others on. So, they are not fit the perfect. Piece. I gotta nail it down. So this was all done while I was gone, and I think that looks just really good. I just think I'm happy that we did that. Of course, we're going to trim uh, all the way around there yet <clears throat> with a little bit of trim, and of course, that'll make it look even better yet, but um, I just think that looks so nice. The boys did such a great job. Now, here's the, the big deal right here. So we got those other two done, and we have that one left that Ethan's measuring. And we have this one left. Okay, Justin, Ethan, you've been busy while we were gone. You did such a good job. Now tell me a little bit about what you're thinking that we talked about for there and there. Um, we're thinking of like, this is kind of like a triangle. It looks like a mountain. So we wanna make a barn board. Like it looks like a mountain scene kind of with a river. And then we're gonna put white like whiteboards on the tippy top so it looks like it's snow with a blue barn we're coming down which is like a creek so we're going to try if that looks good or not yeah and then uh what other color justin were we going to yeah, use in there we're going to put some uh green barn board on the bottom to make it look like trees right and the gray brown uh barn board is just going to be like the rocks and dirt yeah so we're gonna it's going to be interesting we don't know how it's going to turn out but we're, we're wanting to do it as a bit of a surprise for Priscilla. So hopefully she doesn't watch this video because if she does, then it's all busted. Uh, <laughs> but we're gonna try to do this and just keep it off there and keep it as a surprise. And then one day we'll have it up there when she comes out. So we're gonna work on that next. And that, that could take a minute to get that done. But I think it's gonna turn out really nice, hopefully. We're gonna, we're gonna try. And Wyatt wanted to come here this morning with his little new coonskin cap. And we said, okay, he can come and do his schoolwork here. So he's working on the schoolwork, on his schoolwork here. And what are you working on, Wyatt? Um, I'm working on reading. Reading, okay. And you're doing cursive, that's good. 
Okay, that's good. And there's, uh, we were short one door, so we had to go to Home Depot. I think I mentioned that in another video. And so we had to get this thing stained and varnished. Uh, so we, the boys are working on that as well while we're gone. Oh, and one more thing outside I'll show you. And I didn't even notice this, which is so bad. Um, they put these lights in and, yep, oh, check it out. They just turned them on. And they put the an outlet all the way in the end on each end there. That's like we can plug Christmas lights in or something. So they did these lights while I was gone. It's just so cool that they do this stuff. And it's just, I would tell them each day we'd talk and they'd say, ask what they could be doing and everything. So it's, it's really cool, but it looks so good. I can't wait to take a picture of this a video of this while uh while when it gets dark this evening well all right we're able to get all our pieces um out of this one board for there and there so but we have to cut this into four pieces to make it work so you can see by all our markings there's a little piece in the corner and yeah a bunch of bunch of different pieces on here so here we go to work So what we're doing here is we're putting this backer on. This is upside down right now. And this is simply just to hold it in place. Uh, because like I said, we had to do three different pieces here because it wouldn't all fit out of one, ouch, out of one uh, piece of plywood otherwise. So we're gonna take these, put them in, then we're gonna grind the front side of them off. Then later, when everything's completed, we'll take these just back off. You can get the sander and we'll just grind this off. And here we go. We've been, it's taken a long time. So the way this is looking now is we've got Justin starting to paint the snow on. This right here is going to be blue for a creek. And so that's what we're doing. It looks kind of crude right now, but I think it's going to work out. So there's the mountain, uh, the snow, and it just tapers off to nothing right there. And that goes for both sides. The other side is right there. Stops right there. Yeah, that's gonna look good, I think. It's gonna ease off as you go further down, Justin. Mm -hmm. And there is the the river now. Justin put some white spots in there. We'll see how that turns out. We'll let that dry and, and nail that on there. Okay, we're working on the second one here. And we're this is the last piece for the mountain right here, the the snow. So we're gonna see if this last piece fits that we we made. And there it is. So now it's about quitting time. So I think we're going to we'll glue that on there, nail it. There's a second mountain. So much for tonight. There's how much we got done today. That takes a while. And then we also got this done over here. Got the mountain done and we're working on this river right here so hopefully we can get this all wrapped up tomorrow wowzers that is bright outside i love the way that looks this looks so good oh wow 
Looks wonderful, guys. Yep. They're enjoying it too. <laughs> okay, good morning. To, today it's just Ethan and myself. Justin's helping Priscilla with the teaching school. So our goal today is to get both of these mountain scenes totally completed. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to keep this a secret from Priscilla or not. So I'm gonna try to, we're gonna try to just finish this and then uh, maybe just have her sneak out tomorrow or, or this evening or something. Uh, once we have it up, I'd like to have it up on the wall and then surprise her. Cause I think that once I make the video, you're gonna see the thumbnail, she's probably gonna see it. So I think we're just gonna have to try to finish it and, and surprise her with it right away. So this, it might still be on the same video. I had planned to do it later, but I think we'll just do it now. So uh, what we're doing now is we're cutting out pieces for uh, the river. So we're gonna do a little bit different than the last time. Uh, we're gonna make three pieces so everything kind of pulls toward the center. The idea is here, so everything kind of, our eye goes to the center. So we're not experts, that, but it is kind of fun, but it does take a while, so we're working at it. We're on piece number three here, so, yep. It's taken shape. So there you can see the mountain. And then the idea here is for this right here to be the river. And then this is gonna be a green field down here and going up to rocks up in that area. I don't know, it's just an idea. So we're hoping it turns out okay. This is the last of the pieces for this mountain scene here. Got everything cut, everything painted. We're just putting the last of the, nailing the last of the pieces on gluing and nailing. Here we go. Okay, now this piece goes in here. Just like so. And final piece of the puzzle right there. Boom. Sweet. Cool. And the final nail. Woo! Now, you tip it up. Can you tell me how it looks, Ethan? Whoa. Does it look anything like a mountain? Yep. Cool. All right, this guy's done. Now we're gonna take this backer off, bend the nails over and hang it. The last of it hanging together three pieces one two and three and everything's hanging together now looks a little bit like a porcupine we gotta knock all these nails over i went home after lunch and got two more helpers now we've got three all together we got justin and avalon and ethan and we're painting this and then we got like two or three more boards to put on there and then we can hang it up and while Ethan's doing this I think Avalon Justin and I will hang that one up second to last piece here a little sliver to put in there yet you have to tap it down to make it tight
fitting. Yep. Okay, so what we're doing now is, as you can see, we planed some of these boards down to about a 5 16 inch width. And then we ripped them to inch and one quarter wide. And then we measured them up on top and we got these fancy tools. I'll show it to you here. This thing's called a sliding T-bevel. And wow, does it work well. So it works really well to find the angle. You basically, uh, you can tighten that wing nut and you can adjust this and you put it, let's say, right up there in that, in that angle right there and it'll tell you what the angle is. And then you come down and mark your board. Saves so much time. So anyways, we're putting, a, putting these inch and a quarter pieces of trim out around uh, each one of these and so that's what we're doing here so then because we ripped them we had to put we've got to put minwax stain on here so the edges aren't exposed and after we're done with that then we can nail them up there And there's a last nail going in. What do you think, Ethan? You look pretty nice. Looks pretty good. Now we just gotta do the center too, but that one has got trim around it. A little hard to see with that glare. And that one's got trim around it. And I'm hoping Priscilla's gonna like it. I think she will. She's pretty amiable usually. Most times. Cool. I think it's awesome. All right, quitting time. Our goal for today is to get all the little trim. Justin, show us where, the, where we're putting the trim on. Yep, the little inch and a quarter inch strip all the way around. Our goal is to do that on those four, finish that side, and then also on these ones up behind me. So we've got, so far we've got four out of the eight done. So we're gonna finish that. And then I think we're gonna go up and do this window trim right up behind me here. 
<clears throat> probably get that knocked out. That's gonna take a minute to do that. And then uh, we'll see how far we get after that. Fine and dandy. There you can see the trim up there. And Justin gave that green field a coat of varnish. And I think we're gonna give it another one because it really soaked in. It's really dry for some reason. The paint was super flat. So I think that's gonna give it a little bit of a shine. It's good. So now I'm gonna go get Ethan and he's done helping with the school work, teaching school. And uh, we can, can do some more trimming. We got all those done this afternoon or this morning. I think now this afternoon, we'll go and get those trapezoid windows all trimmed out. Get that at least done this afternoon. Maybe we get more done than that, hopefully. And we're gonna surprise mom with a mountain scene. She still doesn't know that we made it look like a mountain. Right, she doesn't know anything about it. So I asked her to come out here this afternoon just to uh, look around and, and uh, I wanted to take a, a video or a little picture uh, I said a family photo out here. So uh, when she comes, we're gonna video her and I'm, I'm excited to see what she thinks. She's got a uh, delicate taste too. So she'll probably tell me if she thinks it doesn't look really good, but she'll probably act like it looks really good even if it doesn't. Now, I think she'll love it. So I'm excited, I uh, can't wait to show her. And Ethan's putting the last nail in and we got these windows trimmed out. Sweet deal. That's done. Oh, it's a good feeling to get a little bit, something more done. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. We got her here, bring her over here. <laughs> over here, careful, she's almost in, okay. Now, turn around and look up there. Oh, wow. I love that. But don't turn around. Wow. Can't look over here yet. It gets like this. Just unique, rustic look. I love it. Okay, now close your eyes and walk ahead. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Okay, now open your eyes. What? <laughs> what? My, that is so cool. Who <laughs> what do you think? Of that? I did. <laughs> Does it look real? It's like mountains like, and river and, you know, hills, right? That's what it's supposed to be. Wow. <laughs> that is really neat. You are so creative, babe. That is awesome. Uh, wow. Look at that beautiful sunset. It is so amazing, all the colors. Oh, that looks so nice. Standing on the porch here. All right, friends. Well, we're going to call this video done. Thank you so much for watching. And yes, I think we might make a couple adjustments. Priscilla thinks it's a little bright, and I tend to agree with her. I just didn't know how we could get it uh, a little bit um, more see-through. So we're going to try a couple things. Maybe you'll see it in the next video. Anyways, thank you again so much for watching, and God bless you. We'll see you on the next video. Justin again.